Hey guys, TechnoMetro with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the Wi Fi and the Bluetooth are grayed out. And if you try to select it, it doesn't select or it's just disabled. You want to follow these steps to fix your iPhone. So let's get started. So, the very first thing is first thing you want to ensure that your phone has at least 20% or more charge. And you can pull down the control menu here, see the charge percentage. And the reason why that is is because once the phone goes under 20%, certain things start becoming limited functionality like Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to save battery. So make sure your phone is charged up. Now after that, the next troubleshooting step is we're gonna put our phone on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off and it does a quick network refresh. As you can see here, my Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is working. After I do that, you can also do this from the setting by going into your settings and then turn on Bluetooth here, right? And then turn it off just like that. It does a quick network refresh. Now, if that didn't help, the next thing you want to do is a force restart on your iPhone. And in order to do that, you're going to press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another, and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'm going to do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to that side button. While I'm pressing and holding, there's going to be a pop-up that comes up to slide to power off. But you do not need to do that because that will be a normal turn off we want to make sure it's forcing itself to shut down and once you see the Apple logo you'll let go of that side button again you want to do it quickly vol press and release the volume up press and release the volume down one after another before holding on to that side button now this might take you a couple times to get it right so if it doesn't work the first time keep on trying and this method just basically shuts down the software and reloads the code it's safe it will not delete any of your personal data all of your photos videos apps will still be on your phone so you don't have to worry about any of that now if it's still not working where you're getting your Bluetooth or Wi-Fi still being uh, not working or grayed out the next thing to troubleshoot is go into your setting of your iPhone click on screen time and you might have a screen time passcode that you might need to enter but once you do that go down to restriction where it says content and privacy you want to click on that now if you have content and privacy restriction turned on you want to follow this if you don't have it on you can skip this part but if you do have it on you want to go down here where it says Bluetooth sharing, make sure that it's selected to allow changes. And under app clips, if you have apps that need Bluetooth, make sure they're turned on if you have apps listed here. So you want to ensure that. Now after you have done that, and if it's still not working, you might still see that your Bluetooth on the Wi-Fi is still grayed out. The next thing to do is go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general, and this time you're going to want to go scroll down, which is transfer reset iPhone, you're going to click on that and then click on the first option to reset which will give you the menu to reset network setting you'll click on network resetting basically it'll reset all the settings like saved Wi-Fi and any Bluetooth connected devices but that's simply fine because you want to do that if you're having issues connecting with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and you click on that it will take about a minute or two to uh, do and this method again will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe after doing that, hopefully it's working. Now, if it's still not working where your Bluetooth and uh, Wi-Fi are still grayed out, the next thing to do, again, in the settings, same thing again, we're going to go to general, scroll down to transfer reset iPhone, click on uh, reset, and this time we're going to do all a uh, setting reset, which basically will do a reset of all the settings, like network-related settings, your keyboard dictionary setting, home screen layout settings. If you had a customized home screen layout, it'll just get reset any location and privacy settings themselves. So all this is gonna do is reset all the settings, but it's kinda important to do that if you just simply can't get Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to work or they're still grayed out. And this will generally take about a minute or two to do. Again, it will not delete any of your personal data like photos, videos, apps, anything will not get deleted, just like it says here, but something you'll need to do in order to fix it. Now, if that didn't work for you, the next thing to do is see if you can update your phone. Now, to update your phone, you can try using cellular uh, data if you have cellular data. But if you don't have cellular data, you'll need to go, uh, if you have cellular data, you'll go here, general software update, and you'll update here. Now, if you get unable to check for update, you need to update it through your computer using your MacBook with the Finder app or with the PC or uh, older MacBook with the iTunes app, which you can download on the internet, which we explain in another video. We'll leave the link for that video as well. But you want to update your phone. And after doing the update, the next and the very last thing you can do is a factor reset and restore of your iPhone, which we explain in another video just because it takes a little bit longer, which we'll leave a link for that video as well. But if you did all of these and you're still finding that the 
Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth simply or still grayed out. Most likely it's a hardware related issue which needs to be repaired by a technician or someone certified to do it. In that case, you'll need to take it to the Apple store or authorize Apple retailer uh, that fixes the phone. And I hope this video is helpful in fixing at least the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth connectivity issue that you're having. If so, please do consider hitting a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. See you guys next time.